What's up everybody, King of Fumble here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we have a new project we're talking about over here on Pulse Chain. This one is called Pulsefinity. So before I unpack that, if you guys are members of my Patreon group, you're going to be getting lots of videos at the same time here, maybe two or three videos, um, pretty much instantly. If you're watching over here on YouTube and you're not Patreons, you'll be getting these videos spread out over the next couple days. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be going camping, I'm not going to be here for the next couple days. So, got some... Uh, kind of gems you guys can check out while I'm out there camping. So nonetheless, let's talk about the project for the day. This is Pulsefinity. And shout outs to one of my Patreons who actually brought this project to my attention. Now, full disclosure here, guys, I haven't decided if I'm going to jump into Pulsefinity yet. I'm still really just you know at the beginning stages of looking at it. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, and I'm excited just for the the amount of projects coming out on pulse chain but we can kind of get hyped on that and, and talk about what else is coming a little bit later on in the video so they have a website right here it's pulsefinity finance you guys can read the uh, url up here pulsefinity.finance make sure you're going to the right website and you can read through the website on your own um what i'm going to focus on actually they have a really really good white paper here so i'm going to kind of read through some of the key features of the white paper just so you guys can get an idea of what this thing is all about so it's different from your exchange they did actually do a sacrifice just like we saw with nine inch um, and their the sacrifice is done so they're going to be distributing those tokens on july 4th and that's when you're going to be able to jump into this project from here on out uh, since you're past the sacrifice period but it might still be worth jumping into so what they're doing is an ido this is sort of a launch pad over here on pulse chain if you don't know what those terms mean and some of you might be new to crypto or you're just new to terms like that ido stands for initial dex offering uh, and what that essentially means is instead of just launching a coin in a telegram group and hoarding all the coins for yourself it's more of a fair way to launch your coin so people have a little bit of transparency to see where things are coming from. It doesn't make the coin 100% scam free, but it definitely makes it a, a, lot, a lot better in terms of distribution if it is scam free. Um, so you guys can read a little bit about kind of what more about what these IDOs are and how the IDO works over here on Pulsefinity. Uh, but you do have a lot of uh, bonuses that you can get from having some Pulsefinity tokens, and that's what I'm going to focus on more than the Launchpad stuff. Um, but if you're excited about launch pads and new coins on Pulse Chain, then Pulsefinity might be the staple platform to go to in the future for hot new coins that are launching fresh. Um, so one of the things you can do on Pulsefinity is stake the PLF token. So like I said, that PLF token is going to be launched on July 4th. Those who sacrificed will get the PLF token on, in their wallets immediately. Those who did not sacrifice, I'm assuming you can buy it on PulseX. Um, so by staking those PLF tokens after July 4th, you can stake in and sort of unlock some things from different tiers based on how much PLF you're staking. So if you're staking $100 worth of PLF, all the way up to 10,000 or more dollars of PLF, you get different features. So we can kind of scroll down here and look at what some of these features are. Uh, we're really just gonna focus on um, four of these, but you guys can sort of zoom in, pause the video and read the rest. Uh, so you have your nano, micro, mega, giga, and terra tier, and you can kind of see all the different stuff that you're that you get available if you're staking in these tiers. Now again, the tiers are back here. Nano's $100, Micro's $800 worth of PLF, all the way up to Terra plus Terra Terra, which is $10,000 uh, worth of um, PLF staked. Uh, but the main things that I want to focus on, you know, like I said, I'm not a super jazzed about uh, launch pads and things like that because that's a little too risky for me. But nonetheless, uh, what I'm focused on is just yield, right? So how can you earn in the pulse chain? Yeah, I've been talking about that a lot. Uh, so they have three different yields three different ways you can get yield from staking PLF. One is from this first nano tier. You stake PLF and you get PLF right here. So stake PLF and earn PLF and staking rewards. That's going to be nice to have, uh, again, just for some passive profits. If uh, Pulsefinity ends up being a very successful project, that's going to be very nice. The next tier up is um, on the micro tier. So stake PLF and you're going to be able to earn hex and PLF, right? So uh, so obviously the more money you're staking, the more dollars you're staking, the more you're gonna get back from this whole system. And there's more to this, uh, so stay tuned, <laughs> don't tune out yet. And then you have uh, the uh, last kind of three things, you have stake PLF and you get PLF, Hex, and Pulse X. I'll just, I'm just gonna scroll down here and show you guys. You have another tier, you can unlock stake PLF and earn PLF, Hex, uh, and 
Pulse X and Pulse, right? With the 2X multiplier. So there's a lot of different things that you can do here, and you guys can kind of read what the features are. Personally, if you're going to be staking PLF, you want to try and get the most out of it. So uh, staking a higher amount to get that Pulse is where I'm looking at. I'm, I'm focusing in on Pulse, so the Giga tier, hopefully. So Giga tier means you have to. Uh, stake 6k but i mean these other tiers are fine too if plf uh, is successful all right so let's take a look at some other things that more venture yields this is a really good graphic here that explains how the whole system works so with every plf buy and sell there is a four percent tax and that four percent tax is going to go directly for plf buyback uh, so that's neither here nor there some people are excited about things like buybacks personally i'm not but it's nice to have that as a feature with the taxes uh, for their launch pad if you want to launch a token over here on pulsefinity again it gives your project a little bit more validity if you're launching on a launch pad as opposed to just distributing your coins over there on discord so that's the incentive for people launching coins points over here, 20% uh, of the total profits um, from the Launchpad revenue. So, you know, a percentage of that revenue from people buying from this Launchpad goes to Pulsefinity, Pulsefinity and every single quarter, 20% of those profits, if, pe if people are depositing hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars into Pulsefinity to, to buy all these different projects, 20% of those total profits that Pulsefinity is going to get goes to this thing called a venture reward, venture yield reward pool. And um, you might be curious as to what that is. So these venture yield rewards are going to go to Pulse Vendee stakers. So again, it's another bonus for people that are staking PLF. It's part of those staking tiers things. And you're going to be able to get revenue from successful projects launching here on Pulse Vendee. So if you believe in what Pulse Vendee is doing, or if you just believe in some of the coins that are launching in Pulse Vendee, it's definitely worth staking over here, I think, in my opinion. But again, it might take some time to really decide <laughs> if this is right for you or if they're going to be doing the right thing. Uh, and lastly, they have a couple other things. They have early unstaking fees, which is going to go back to the venture reward yield pool. You have uh, a lockup period that you can use for your Pulsefinity staking. And let's see if that's on here. Uh, so you guys can read it a little bit more into detail like that. But there's, they have like bonuses. Let me see where it is. They have bonuses for people who are staking for a longer period of time. So if you lock your stake up for like six months or 24 months, you're going to be getting extra stuff. I don't remember where that is on here, um, but I'm not going to waste my time kind of clicking through here. There's a lot to click through here. Um, and they have a lot of cool stuff for launch pads too. So people who are launching coins, maybe if you're well-versed and you want to launch a coin on Pulse Chain, um, they do things like private sales, vested sales, manual listings, all kinds of stuff like that to get to get your coin going quickly over there on Pulse Chain. So check it out for yourself. Again, this white paper, it's you know, it's not it's not a um, a waste of time to read, or it's not super long, so it's, it's got a lot of good information in short formats. So definitely check out that white paper right there. And check out the website, pulsefinity.finance. July 4th is the date you're looking for this thing. So depending, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, it's going to be, you know, in about a week or so. If you're watching this on Patreon, it's June 22nd right now. So you're going to be seeing, uh, you have some time to, you know, really think about and dig into Pulsefinity before you decide what you're going to do on July 4th. And, um, you know, at that point in time, you know, my, my strategy would be to decide what a good buy-in opportunity for the PLF token is going to be before you stake it. That's what King of FOMO is focusing in on. But of course, uh, they also have other features too. If you want to look at some of the coins that are launching, they did like a little test launch of X Baby Pepe. You can look at that and, and kind of see what's going on with the coin launches there. All right, that's everything for today, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, if you're not a member of Patreon, consider becoming a member of Patreon to get access to my Discord community where we're going to be talking about other Pulse Chain projects before I make videos about them. And you'll get access to most of my videos earlier than everyone else here on YouTube. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.